Everything in life has way more underneath it than most people imagine. All of the hidden parts and process that I usually take for granted. But if you look very closely, you'll be amazed by all the small things, all the things that go unnoticed. How a plant can transform water, soil, sunlight into flowers and just bloom. How like granite beans can become a delightful drink. How a few strings strung together, put on a piece of wood, can become music. How engineers also, they can design what apparently is impossible into structures that are magnificent from pretty much nothing. My name is Rodrigo Fregado and I'm the survey manager in Sydney. You may be wondering what surveying has to do with design, right? But I'm a true believer that surveying is one of those that are usually underlooked. But what people don't realize is the surveying is actually the backbone of design. It's the clay that is going to be molded into its final product. Since graduation, I've been very lucky to work with what was called at the time, high-end product, which was very lucky indeed because at the time it was very expensive and it wasn't adopted by many. But looking back now and 10 years down the track, we've come a long way, I must say, but there's still a huge gap in the way that the data is captured and the way the data is consumed. And I'm very passionate about surveying and anything to do with 3D. For those that know me well, they would have seen me multiple times standing in front of a sculpture or an architectural building. But what I'm actually thinking to myself is how cool would it be to have that captured in 3D and be able to bring that into the computer and look at it from all different angles and interrogate it. In this industry, I've worked from light projection to the Vivid Festival to movies such as The Great Gatsby and The Pirates of the Caribbean, where I had the opportunity to scan Leonardo DiCaprio, Johnny Depp. I've also scanned artifacts for the Powerhouse Museum, turbines, war trucks, planes, many, many other unusual things that had to be mapped. In the last three years within Aracon, I feel I've been a catalyst where I've been able to disseminate 3D and future-ready solutions and apply all the knowledge that I've acquired to the most iconic infrastructure projects within not only Sydney, but Australia. The reason I want to be a Design Academy scholar is to be able to engage with like-minded people, people that are willing to challenge the norm and change things. I want to show the surveying can be much more than just a handful of lines on the screen.